There's some pretty big machines out there, and some are just huge. And come to think of it, these huge machines have helped build even bigger things. If you're wondering just how big a machine can get, stick around. Number 10, Bagger 293. The Bagger 293 used to be known as the Man Tacraf RB293, which is a lot less appealing as a name. You won't have too many jokes about the 293 when you see one, as this excavator isn't just huge, it's also the heaviest machine ever made. How heavy do you have to be to be the heaviest? A cool 14,200 tons. That's all it takes. Built in 1995, it's currently deployed to a brown coal mine near Hambach, Germany. Its job is to remove what miners call overburden, which is basically undesirable material that sits on top of desired material, in this case, coal. The overburden in this mine must quake in its boots, because the Bagger 293 is almost 315 feet tall and 740 feet long. Powered by a 16.56 megawatt power supply, its bucket wheel is about 70 feet in diameter. It's made up of 18 buckets, each with a volume of almost 530 cubic feet. With all this power and scale, it can move 8.5 million cubic feet of soil every day, which comes out to almost 219,000 tons. This machine isn't terribly hard to operate either, considering its size. It is manned by a crew of just five people. Number 9. NASA Crawler Transporter While the L-2350 may be the biggest earth mover in the world, this next machine is the biggest land vehicle in the world. And it's easy to see why NASA's crawl transporter needs to be so huge, since its job is to move rockets around the base. It costs $14 million to build these things, and they weigh 2,721 tons. They run on eight ginormous rails, and they're driven by 16 traction motors. As for the engine designed by manufacturer Marion Power Shovel Company, it beats the L2350 with 2,750 horsepower. The vehicle is 40 meters long, 35 meters wide, and about 7 meters tall. And NASA has a dedicated crew whose only job is to move the crawler transporter around. That crew is composed of about 30 engineers and technicians, because you need serious manpower to handle all this horsepower. It's no speed demon though. With no load, it'll trundle down the tracks at a glacial speed of 2 miles per hour, but that doesn't take away from the impressiveness of this size. Number 8. Le Tourneau L2350 Earth Mover As our constructions get bigger, our construction tools have to get bigger to match. That being said, there's no denying that Le Tourneau's L2350 really takes things over the top. This is an earth mover that has made it into Guinness World Records as the biggest earth mover ever built. Le Tourneau was the first company to design and build this insane machine. But nowadays, it's manufactured by Komatsu Limited. They've kept the mind-blowing scale of the machine though. Just the bucket of this earth mover has a max height of 24 feet, a reach of 11.5 feet, and a volume of 53 cubic yards. Even the tires stand at a massive 13 feet tall and 5 feet wide. With a load capacity of 80 tons, you have to imagine that it takes some serious horsepower to run this thing. And you'd be right, as the L2350 is equipped with a 2,300 horsepower engine, 16 cylinders, and 65 L displacement. We've gone out of the world of engines and into the realm of industrial generators. And you can bet this thing can drink up the fuel too, with a tank capacity of almost 4,000 liters. Number 7. Prelude FLNG so, an FLNG platform stands for floating liquid nitrogen gas, and you can imagine that these things have to be pretty big. Offshore oil and gas platforms are at work day in and day out, drilling into the earth for these sweet fossil fuels. Still, you may struggle to comprehend the scale of the Prelude FLNG, which is the world's largest floating natural gas platform. It took the trifecta of Royal Dutch Shell, Cogas, and Inpex to build this thing in 2013, and the bill came out to $12.6 billion. It's currently chilling 120 miles off the coast of Australia, doing its thing of drilling for gas. This thing takes up an insane amount of space in Australia's waters, at 1,601 feet long and 243 feet wide. With a weight of 260,000 tons, it displaces 600,000 tons of water when fully loaded. That makes the Prelude one of the heaviest vehicles on the water today, with the water displacement five times greater than a Nismic-class aircraft carrier. All this makes it the world's largest FLNG, and the largest offshore facility of any sort ever constructed. Number 6. Seawise Giants The name really says it all for this ship. Built in 1976, it was the longest ship ever built, and also the heaviest, displacing around 657,000 tons of water. 
This ship was a super tanker, built by Sumitomo Heavy Industries in Japan. It was designed to transport oil around the world, though it wasn't exactly the best at it. Thanks to its massive size, the ship couldn't fit into the key shipping lanes of the English Channel. It used to be the longest thing in the water overall, but the Prelude FLNG is a mere 30 meter longer. As far as ships go, though, its size has yet to be beaten, even though the giant isn't actually sailing anymore and was scrapped in 2010. Number 5. Antonov AN-225 Mraya Now, let's take a moment to pour one out for the AN-225 Mraya. This was a strategic airlift cargo plane that could carry a maximum weight of 640 metric tons. It could do this because it was the largest airplane in existence until its destruction during the war between Russia and Ukraine. Designed in the 1980s, it started off as an expansion of a plane designed to carry orbiters into the skies. It has the largest wingspan of any plane, spanning a jaw-dropping 88 meters. As for the other dimensions, it was 84 meters long and 18.1 meters tall. The AN-225 holds the records for the heaviest and longest cargo items ever spent. The heaviest was a 189-ton generator and assembly kit due for a gas power plant in Armenia, while the longest was a pair of wind turbines transported from China to Denmark. Number 4. Bertha Moving on from something that flies to something that tunnels under the ground, we have Bertha, the world's largest tunnel boring machine. It was in service from 2013 to 2017, taking a traffic tunnel for the Alaskan Way Viaduct replacement project in Seattle. While the tunnel itself opened in 2019, Bertha essentially sacrificed its life to do its part by 2017, with its blades and components being non-replaceable. The tool was named after Bertha Knight Landis, Seattle's first female layer. Built by Hitachi Zozen Sakai Works in Osaka, its cut head had a diameter of 57.5 feet. The machine itself was 326 feet long and weighed 6,100 tons. Building something that massive and shoving it into the ground is a remarkable feat of engineering, and an expensive one too, as the machine cost $80 million. Number 3. Tradino So here's something a little different. While most machines we looked at were utility machines, the only purpose of Tradino the Giant Dragon was to look cool, and we might say that it was very much successful. Tradino was built by Zollner Electronic AG, delivering the finished product in July of 2010. In 2014, it was featured in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest walking robot in the world. Weighing in at 11 tons and powered by a turbo diesel engine that makes 140 horsepower, this thing sounds more like a car than a dragon. It doesn't fly, but you'd think it would with its massive wings. Those wings give it a 12 meter wingspan. There's also the giant tail, and all of this is powered by 1,000 feet of hydraulic lines and 4,000 feet of electric wire. Tradino is smart too, with 250 sensors. But above all else, it's dangerous, equipped with 80 liters of fake blood and 11 liters of liquid gas that looks like fire. Number 2. 500 Meter Aperture Spherical Telescope That is the actual name of this telescope, but calling it fast is much easier. You could also refer to it by the Chinese nickname of Tianyan, which means heaven's eye. This is a radio telescope used in China to listen in on space. It does so with a 1,600 feet wide diameter dish that fits into a natural crater in the ground. Going against the grain of radio telescope design, its active surface is made of 4,500 panels that can move and shift in real time. Radio telescopes see by shooting radio waves into space and receiving the waves that bounce back and return. FAST collects these on a collecting area that is almost 761,000 square feet. FAST made its first discovery in 2017. It located two pulsars, which technically have really complicated names, but we can simply call them FAST Pulsar No. 1 and FAST Pulsar No. 2. They're 16,000 and 4,100 light years away from us, but that's no challenge for the world's largest radio telescope. Number 1. The International Space Station This is humanity's biggest creation ever. Maybe not in the literal sense, but most people would agree that putting a research station in space was humanity's giantest leap ever. And to think it's been up there since 1998! In the small pool of competitors that are space stations, the ISS is the biggest. It was developed in a global collaboration between NASA, the Russian Rokosmos, the Japanese JAXA, European ESA, and Canadian CSA. Good thing it's in space, as the thing weighs close to a million pounds and has a length and width of 240 feet and 357.5 feet respectively. The ISS has become a symbol of international cooperation. Even as Russia has made threats about it on Earth, scientists from all over the world are working together to open up the final frontier to the human race. 
All right, which of these massive machines do you think is the coolest? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TechJoint, and we'll see you in the next one.